Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another live gameplay. Um, actually, switched up my playbook um, and switched up my team. Um, I'm going to be using Atlanta Falcons as my team. I had a Patreon uh, that asked me to build out a scheme form out of the uh, out of the single back trio formation. So I'm going to be using this primarily on my offense. Uh, so on defense, once again, running the 52, a lot of people just have a hard time with it. I just wanted basic cover three. I just wanted to see what he did. And he actually went ahead and challenged me up deep with um, with the, just a lot of ball. And I actually came back and actually user picked that ball right there. He just threw it up and just gave it to me. So I'm going to be really focusing a lot of my offense here with the single back trio as my base offense. And I just wanted to hit him with a little dive. He was doing a double blitz. But this is a spot route out of the uh, the run heavy uh, playbook, and what I like about it is this this particular route right here is just a very good harassing route that your opponent has to manually defend. So I came back around, went into kind of a levels concept, uh, just kind of a play action levels concept, dropped it down to the middle, the wide open man, got a bad animation right there, and only picked up two yards, which should have been basically an eight yard game. Hit him once again with uh, with a run you know, on the inside. And uh, right here, go back to spot again and just pop them right here with this money route and just and get them to go ahead and try to defend that. So that's what I love about that spot route, and that's one of the reasons why I built that. I uh, built this uh, uh, this uh, formation scheme uh, for my Patreon because it's just got a really good play. Now, here's another gem of a play that I really like. Um, this is uh, a play called Slot Option. And what I like about it is that it's got a lot of unique routes, and it's a quick hucker's play. I, just, I run it stock, uh, and you're going to see me making some pretty good plays with it. Um, here I actually flipped the ball. I got his guys off to the left and went ahead with the pitch off to the left. He's only basically got a couple of defenders out there and able to go ahead and get a nice little run. Uh, but he actually bottles up the run pretty well. This guy was actually, his run defense was not that bad. He actually clicked down and did that. But his offense was, was not that good. The guy was not a great player, but he, he played pretty good run defense for the most part. He, he kind of bottled my run up. So right here, go ahead and settle for uh, the crosser up top and able, able to go up top 7-0 uh, to nothing against my opponent. So come out with the heavy, uh, heavy blitz with the cover 2 shell right there. Mess up his reads a little bit once again to cover two sh uh, blitz right here. He drops it down to the flat, and basically I think on the next play I actually go with a hard flat right here. Get some more pressure off from me. Actually throws it right to my defender and able to go ahead and get a nice little interception. Most people with that four 52 defense, uh, they struggle with it, and they have a tendency to want to throw over the middle to the hot, rate, high, hot read, and essentially just goes right into your defender. And if you got a good defender, uh, a good defender, you can actually pick it up. So right here I'm looking for the little crossing route. The drag route with the Julio Jones to go and pick up some pretty good yards. Third and one situation. Back to the spot route again. Right here, just go ahead and pop that. Now, I've, I've actually set this opponent up. I basically popped him a couple times with that spot route. So now I'm feeling pretty good about it, and he's going to have to go ahead and be very conscious of it. Nice little pitch play. He bottles it up uh, with his defense. Uh, puts me in a situation. I go ahead and try to play with a different type of a setup. I don't really have much of a, a, a red zone offense yet uh, with this uh, heavy heavy run, um, basically, offensive set. So you're going to see me ex probably struggling to try to get the ball into the red zone because I don't really have any kind of a, a scheme set up yet. But I'll be working on that as I, as I show some more gameplay. So a little spin move on a, on a, on a pitch play right there. And I'm able to go and catch him. So back to the 52 uh, defense right here. I think I did hard flats while my defender actually came down there and played the ball. A second and six situation. Pressure once again. That's actually hard flats right there. So he doesn't pick up any yards. He actually loses yards. So a third and nine situation. Come with the pressure again. He actually picks it up, but he throws it down to a little spot route and gets it in a, a fourth down situation, goes for it. So I'm figuring I'm just going to keep going with the pressure. He's trying to get rid of the ball very quick. We'll come back to the crosser. He actually goes ahead and hits the, the, the deep post, and I, I, my, my defender clicks on and actually get him out of position, and I give up a cheesy score with 27 seconds left. So going in the second half here, I'm, gonna, I'm getting the ball back. I'll do a little pitch play to the outside, uh, and actually he's able to go ahead and just tackle me by my, my shoelaces to get me down after I get a first down. So once again, back with the play again. Here's a spot route, but because he was probably paying attention to spot route, I'm able to go ahead and hit him with the seam. So now he's got a dilemma with that spot route. He has to pick his poison. Go ahead and do a little pitch route right here. He actually does a pretty good contain. I do a nice little spin with the pick up some good yards, but he actually contained that up pretty well. So back to uh, the uh, slot option. 
I'm looking for the crosser, and then I've got this little angle route by the wide receiver. Just a very unique route, and you don't necessarily see that a lot. So right here, first and goal situation, try to hit him with the little pitch to the outside, and he clicks on. He's able to go and tackle me short of the goal line. So here's a play that i actually been labbing, um, and I, I just kind of played around with this particular concept. Is actually fading up my outside receiver and then doing my one receiver on that. And what happens in cover three shells is that that defender actually falls off the fade, giving you a, a passing lane to go to get a cheap uh, completion. So because I gave up a big play with the 52, I figured I'd change up my defense a little bit. I go into the 43 safety blitz and zone up my safeties. And right there, he actually drops it down. Uh, to the crossing route. So second and eight, sure enough, he goes ahead, no huddles in this type of situation. Anytime you're down by a couple scores, people start getting really pressured. And I think he, this guy no huddled into a fake, um, fake snap play. So he was a little bit screwed up. I actually go ahead and start making adjustments to my defense. And um, you could tell this guy's inexperienced because usually someone will take a timeout or something like that because he's only down by two scores. There's no reason to make any kind of a bad play right here. He still throws the ball up, and I'm able to go and click on and get another interception against him. And now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to close this game out. I gave up a pretty cheap score against him, so there's no reason to go ahead and give this guy any kind of life. So he spreads out his linebackers to try to stop the pitch, and that's why you have uh, a nice little dive play to go and tack him right up the middle. So once again, I hit him up right up the middle with another dive. And as you can see, the clock is rolling down and into the fourth quarter now. Once again, back to the dive play right here. He actually clicks on his defensive uh, tackle. Back to the spot route again. Uh, go ahead and just pop the spot route. The defenders actually float up to the corner. I'm able to go ahead and pick up a nice first down. And I just keep rolling the clock down into the, the slot option play. I'm looking to the seam with the tight end. A defender actually just carries. So I'm going to go drop it down to Jones. And look at that. He actually breaks a little tackle, makes an all-star play for me, puts it into the end zone. And that is pretty much it. Uh, this guy's pretty much done, though. Doesn't want to go ahead and take a beat anymore. So now I start getting some lag notifications, and he ends up quitting out. So, guys, be on the uh, be on the lookout. I'm going to be rolling with this uh, run-heavy playbook. It's got uh, basically. Uh, the single back uh, trio is one of the formations. It's also got the gun Y off trio and then the uh, the, the gun bunch uh, tight end. Those are going to be some of the formations I'm jumping into. Once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, and until next time.